Dr. Fuck here again with another video about Paul Stanley. And uh, this one's going to be the opposite of what I've done. I want to talk about when Paul had a killer voice. Now, these last couple videos I put up, you know what? I don't think I would be that brutal to Paul Stanley and his shitty voice today. If it weren't for him running around talking about the talents of others, how Peter couldn't cut it and ace this and that, uh, I think I'd, because uh, you know what, Paul Stanley's not the only one that's lost his voice. There's many other singers uh, his age that were great singers and now they're kind of shitty. So, uh, but you know, since Paul was the one uh, to bash people in the past, hey man, karma's a bitch. Anyway, I want to talk about Paul Stanley's voice in the past now. Um, today I was driving around and my iPod Shuffle went on the song A Million to One. And I was like, holy shit, man, listen to that voice. Fucking incredible. What fucking singing that guy. Uh, he fucking ruled on that song. And shit, I can go on and on about how many incredible vocals he's done in the past. Like, um, there's a song, pretty deep track off Carnival of Souls called, uh, what's it called again? It Never Goes Away. Fucking great on that track as well. Tonight You Belong to Me. Um, All American Man. I can go on and on, but uh, I also thought this, and I wonder, I'm going to throw this past you guys and see uh, what you all think of this. Maybe, not that I know and not that I think, it's just an opinion, but I think maybe uh, Paul's voice kind of got shot because of the Live to Win tour. Uh, I saw the Live to Win tour in Fort Lauderdale and holy fuck was that great. Seeing him do Magic Touch, Million to One, Tonight You Belong to Me, all these great songs with amazing vocals on it and... Uh, he sang the whole show. Now, when Kiss plays shows, he doesn't sing the whole show. Of course, he takes breaks as Gene sings songs and uh, Ace sings songs. And now Tommy sings Ace songs. Uh, Eric Carr and Eric Singer did Black Diamond and Peter Chris all throughout the career. Paul's always taking break. On the Live to Win tour, he pretty much sang the whole show, did a whole tour singing his ass off because god damn was he great he was amazing and i've noticed after that tour is when the vocal problems started happening so maybe that had something to do with it i don't know um it's just an opinion what do you all think you know maybe that was the reason i'm not sure because i you know what the thing is you know it's like so abruptly his voice got shitty like right after that tour it wasn't like a gradual thing you know, even that clip I showed of Barcelona, I'm sorry, it's, his voice was kind of crappy uh, leading up to that point. It hasn't really been that great since, since the Live to Win tour. So I'm thinking maybe that had to do with it since uh, he wasn't taking breaks and letting somebody else sing a couple songs here and there during that tour. Pretty much carried too much weight on that tour and maybe that's the contributing factor to his crappy voice now but enough of the crappy voice now let's talk about how amazing he was in the past and he was goddamn amazing and honestly I think out of the original four I thought he was the one that sang I mean that wrote the coolest songs um, you know Ace may be my, my favorite uh, member of Kiss but I think Paul sang Paul wrote better songs and uh so, there you go. I'm praising Paul Stanley. There you go. Um, because, hey man, you gotta give credit where credit's due. So, Paul Stanley was a hell of a talent. Had a hell of a voice. And I'm praising the star child on this video. So, hey. And also, uh, one final thing. As far as my live feed, a lot of people keep asking me, when's my next live feed? Well, it won't be for a while because I'm at the moment uh, recording uh, with this side project thing I'm doing. It's a goofy little thing. I'm actually not actually going to release it. I'm just going to give it away to local people. And uh, 
every time I do a live feed, I'm on there for way too long because it's hard for me to leave with all the people watching and asking me questions. And I'm there ask, answering questions for hours and hours. And by the time I turn off the live feed, my voice is hoarse. Shit, even during the live feed, I take breaks. I'm like, dude, let me take a break because I felt my voice kind of hurting. So as I'm recording this uh, project I'm doing, I don't want to do a live feed. I want to preserve my angelic voice. I don't want to end up like Paul Stanley today. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. A uh, positive Paul Stanley video. How do you like those apples? All right. Talk to you guys later.